Hello and welcome to my mini lecture on art part two with Izzy the Pug. <laughs> We've looked at art, why do people make art? Why is art important? What's the point? Um, well, first of all, it makes your clothes messy, as you can see from my sleeve. But <laughs> secondly, why is it important? Well, humans love to do it, don't they? It's sort of such a human thing. It creates so much pleasure for the person who creates and the people who look at creativity. So, for example, great works of art, like works by Leonardo da Vinci or Caravaggio. I mean, they're so incredibly beautiful, stunning things that move people throughout history. That's why they're so amazing, that they stand the test of time, that they still move people, that they still evoke feelings or sentiments or sense of that place or that time which is really amazing mm. it's so beneficial to humans as well creativity i mean it's well proven now how good it is for the mind and mm. development of children for example it improves your that development it speeds it it builds the cells in the brain and they grow and they go because they're doing this creative because Creative thought means you have to use a lot of different thought processes. And so, because you're using multiple parts of the brain, it, it, that's why it's particularly beneficial. It's particularly good for people with Alzheimer's as well. To any kind of creativity, it's really, really good. It's really good for anxiety. It's really good for um, depression. It builds a sense of self-worth. People can do it at any level they choose. You know, you could be a hobbyist doing something simple and building something simple with clay or you could be a painter painting something with absolute depth in a, and as a beautiful craft or you could be a contemporary installation artist making something that provokes people to think or challenges people in some way or challenge create, talks about some kind of issue all of it's valid all of it's art all of it's a communication of some kind. Whenever I talk to artists, you say, well, why do you create art? Why do you do it? And people always say, because I need to. And it becomes part of yourself and part of who you are and part of what you do. And everyone who does it, it's equally as valid. Um, I will make a little plug. I will say that in Ireland, there is a system where where artists are given a certain amount of money to live on so they can practice as artists so it's really understood how artists contribute to society and how important they are and they're valued and that has happened in other cultures around the world but not in ours at present the even though we have amazing creative industries you know and that's one of our biggest gdps but they're not supported our creatives are not supported so yeah, Izzy says that's rubbish, don't you? Is it rubbish? Yes. There we go. Mini lecture on art part two done.